All right, now we're going to use the formula acceleration equals v sub f minus v sub i divided by t to determine the acceleration of an object. And the object we're going to find the acceleration of is this race car that you see right here, this dragster. Now the purpose of a dragster is to travel down a very short track in a straight line and achieve the highest velocity possible in the shortest time possible. That's what a dragster does. It accelerates as quickly as possible. So this is a great real world problem. So the first thing we're going to have to know is we're going to have to know the length of the track. Now this is in the United States. It's actually in North Carolina at a racetrack called Thunder Valley. This track is actually a one-eighth mile long track. A lot of drag strips are one-quarter mile. This one is one-eighth of a mile. It's a fairly short track. And one-eighth of a mile is equivalent to point two zero kilometers. So this is a point two zero kilometer track. And you'll notice that when we're done with the race that the time it takes this car to travel from the starting line to the end of the track where it's timed, where the timer is, is 6.31 seconds. So let's go ahead and watch the race. Watch this car accelerate. and this is the information we have about the car. We know that the track is 0 0.20 kilometers long. We know the time for the car to go down the track was 6.31 seconds. With that we can calculate the velocity of this car and the velocity, the average velocity, is equal to displacement divided by time. Well, when we work that out, we plug some numbers in. That's 0 0.20 kilometers divided by the time, which is 6.31 seconds. And when we work that out, we get a velocity of 0 0.032 kilometers per second. Now, we, want, we don't want to know the velocity in kilometers per second. We want to know the velocity in kilometers per hour because that's what we're used to using. So let's go ahead and figure out the velocity in kilometers per hour and we're going to use a little dimensional analysis to do that. So in order to do that we're going to multiply this by a conversion factor that is a true fraction that will get rid of seconds and convert the seconds into hours. And since seconds is below the division line here we want to put seconds above the division line right here. And we know that there are 3600 seconds in an hour so I can do this in one step I can go directly to hours. So there's 3600 seconds in one hour. And when we work that out, we get 114.1 kilometers per hour. Why is it kilometers per hour? Well, watch this. If you look at this, the kilometers does not cancel out. Seconds, however, do cancel out. Watch this right there. Seconds cancel out. So now we have kilometers over hours. So our answer here is 114.1 kilometers per hour. That is the average velocity of this car as it went down this drag strip. All right now the next thing we have to do is we have to figure out the acceleration of the car. And here's our acceleration equation right here. The acceleration equation says acceleration is equal to, and of course we are dealing with average acceleration here. Remember this line above the variable name means average. So we're going to use an average acceleration equal to final velocity. That's V subscript F minus initial velocity V subscript I divided by time. Second step, 
again we're going to plug some numbers and some units in here we know that the final velocity of the car at the end of the track was 114.1 kilometers per hour so I'm going to put that right here 114.1 kilometers per hour just like that and I'm going to subtract from that the initial velocity well the initial velocity was zero kilometers per hour at the beginning of the race the car was just sitting there and the time it took for this race to take place for the car to go down the track his time was 6.31 seconds so we work this out and we find out that his average acceleration is 18.1 kilometers per hour per second kilometers per hour per second well how do we get this unit in here how do we get this unit of measurement if you look at this we have kilometers per hour above this division line right here now this is subtraction so nothing is going to factor out up here above the division line kilometers per hour so we have kilometers per hour over seconds so this is watch this kilometers per hour per second and that's the unit that comes down here into the answer 18.1 kilometers per hour per second and that is the acceleration of this dragster what does this actually mean well what it means is that during the race the velocity of the dragster increased on average 18.1 kilometers per hour every second during the race let me say that again the velocity increased on average 18.1 kilometers per hour every second during the race that's what this acceleration means it is the rate of change of velocity